Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Concepts. Today we will see how is string class immutable in Java. So let's proceed. The string class in Java is immutable. It means that you cannot change the string object itself by any means. But you can change the reference of the object. So every time you do concatenation or do some sort of assignment to create new string, you don't update, replace or change the existing string. A new string is created and the previous one remains the same. But you start pointing to a new string. For example, here in the first line of code, string str1 is equal to chatter. So in this case, we are creating the string through string literal method. So it will be created in string literal pool. Since there was already a string named chatter, the reference of the chatter will be stored in referencing variable str1. So we can see here 100, the address or reference of chatter is stored. Now when you try to concatenate this string str1 with a, another string called box, the previous string str1 is not updated or modified. Instead, the JVM creates a new string. So this is the string chatter box created at an address 301. But at the moment, nothing refers to it because it is not assigned to anything. And if you just leave it like that, it will be lost. But in the next line, you do this. str1 is equal to str1.concat box. So what happens is now the reference of str1 here, which was previously 100, will be updated to 301. So we saw that previously it was referring to chatter object and now it is referring to chatter box. So the object itself, the chatter object was not updated or changed. Instead, the reference was changed. So when we try to print the updated string, we get chatter box. So you will think that the object itself was updated. However, actually the object was not updated. It was only that the reference was updated. Now you are referring to another object called chatter box which you created through concatenation. When you create the string using new keyword, you are creating a new string outside the string literal pool. And every time you use new keyword, a new string is created. Now we can see the string object str obj is now pointing to string object to do which is at the address 903 so so it is referencing the same address just like the previous example for string literal we are now concatenating the string list with the string to do so a new object called to do list will be created on heap outside string literal pool but because none of the referencing variable is referring to this newly created to-do list, it can be lost. However, in the next line, we assign it to the our previously created str obj that is in string object. So we'll notice that string object which was previously pointing to to-do at address 903, it will now start pointing to to-do list at address 702. So here we'll see the change of reference. So now we can see the reference is changed. Now this object on heap which is no longer referenced by any of the referencing variable will be marked for garbage collection. Now why is that string is made immutable in Java? For that let's see this example. We saw that str2 and str1 here both are pointing to the same object called chatterbox. Now if string was not immutable Changing the chatterbox object through str1 can also affect str2. But we may not want that change to happen. Another reason why string is made immutable is because of the fact that string is a most widely used class in Java. It is used to make network connections, database connections, opening a file, protocols, and it is also used as parameters. Even in most widely used data structure like hash tables, keys are often string. So if string is made mutable, then there can be some security issues. So almost all methods applied on string object creates a new string instead of updating the previous one. The string itself is not altered, only the reference is changed. Thank you for watching Easy Concepts. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and comment on the section below. For more such tutorial, please subscribe to my channel Easy Concepts and don't forget to tap the bell icon for the updates.